five days of hauling rocks, making cement, building a rock wall in the hot African sun with no shower, no problem. All right, this is video number four in a five part series. So for this all to make sense, just pop on over here and watch the previous videos in the series. Finding your purpose takeaway number four, there's incredible value in crap. Uh, <laughs> in our journey to find a very specific elephant, we followed poop for days. Literally, sometimes that's all we saw was poop. And I was like, okay, today on episode 27 of Dumb Hunters, like this is what we came halfway around the world for, but poop tells you a lot. So if the poop is really fresh, you know you're kind of hot on the trail, or if the poop is really dried out, you know you're not anywhere close. Also, elephant poop, these balls of dung are actually ready-made compost. So when you open them up, that's right, just when you open them up, not if you, because you just pull it apart, dig around for what's in there. But uh, you could see seeds growing see inside these, these compost, compost balls, these even after just one mm -hmm. to two days, they're incredibly fertile. Um, also, elephants have horrible digestive systems. They only digest about 40% of what they eat. They eat a lot of seeds and that don't get digested. So as they leave a trail of poop, they're actually distributing seeds and creating new growth. All right, two really important poop takeaways. Number one, we all gotta dig around in our crap. There's a lot of important information in there. What seeds are growing? What things need to be watered? What needs to be nurtured? What stinks and needs to be gotten rid of? And secondly, there's a lot of value in shitty situations. You know, the hard, difficult things are the things that actually teach us to grow the most. Difficult situations are fertilizer. We learn so much about ourselves, other people. We learn what we're capable of. It's how we grow and learn. Okay, so let's talk dirty, like how filthy I got. Mm. When it comes to my skincare, I'm all about my Clarisonic, my vitamin C, retinol, eye cream. So when we were building this wall out in the middle of the bush for five days, we hauled rocks, we mixed cement, we shoveled sand. There were sandstorms, hot, sweaty work, and there was no running water or shower for five days. Talk about resilience of humans and the human spirit. I mean, like the first day you're like, what's in my hair? Um, OMG, I'm crawling out of my skin. I'm so dirty. And you got sunscreen all mixed in. But like day five, you're like, eh, we're good. No problem. You know, these, these shorts that I've been wearing for the past three days, mm, just reaching that right seasoning level. But that did make me realize like, yes, we, are very, very adaptable. And thank goodness for that. And in case you're wondering, here's the bathroom. <laughs>